Hello, boys and girls! How are you doing today? I am doing great! My name is Mengs! This is part 6 of Let's Play Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising! Okay, so we only got one more mission to do before we attempt the lab level. And that is gonna be this one, the Sami mission! Cross the mountains and destroy lab Lash's laboratory! The Black Hole HQ is located in those mountains, isn't it? That's correct. It seems that Lash is working on another destructive device. Okay, I got a request to talk to do Nell with a Swedish voice, so yeah. There you go. So, we need to launch an assault, capture their HQ, and shut her down. If all goes well, we might get some intel on Black Hole for Cross Forces too. Being able to move in the mountains is key to making this work. Which is why you chose me for the mission. I understand. We have reports of black cannons and missile silos in the mountains, too! This isn't going to be a walk in the park, Sammy, be careful! I will, you can count on me. Oh my god, such a horrible voice. Mission 6, Mountain! Oops! <laughs> Mr. Slash, we have reports that Orange Star is closing in on our position. What would you like us to do? Just go and engage them or something. Engage them or something? Uh, yeah. I'm a little busy researching my latest invention right now. Duh! Once this is finished, I'll bathe Orange Star in a sea of fire! Ooh, I love new toys! Um, that is, um... Uh, I'm not sure if we can do this on our own. Ah, you're hopeless. Fine, let's get this over with. Oh okay, yeah, so this mission. So, um, it's a lot of mountains here, so it's gonna be mostly mech spam galore. We need to take care of this black cannon right here. That's basically uh, what we need to do. So what I like to do is I like to build an APC and an infantry from the get-go. Same as APCs are fast, so we can get here relatively quickly. Uh, I'd like to not capture this base. I'd like to ignore it and instead go for this one. Build a rockets and try to take down this black cannon while I just march with a sea of mechs across the mountains. That's pretty much how you do it. Okay. So, a little trick. I'm using the APCs. You always want to move your infantry before you unload the men. And then you want to place your APCs in a location where the infantry can enter them. Now, what some people do is they go into the APCs right away and then they move. You should always, on the first turn, you should move your infantry and then set up your APC to maximize its movements. I'm not sure if I explained that properly, but I'm sure you get my picture. In other words, you want to maximize the effects of the movement so that both the infantry can move and then getting transported by the APC. What some people do is they, for example, they place their APC right above the infantry. You should always place it three spots above it so that it can first move and then move again. That's how you do it. And then I want to basically just send, start sending mechs over the mountains. So I'm going to ignore this city for the time being because I really want to reach the missile silos. I don't want Lash to have them. You don't ever want the computer reaching the missile silos first. I think I should be able to reach it with a mech, though. And I gotta be careful so that my mechs don't get attacked by the black cannon, but they should be fine as long as they stay in the mountains. There we go. Now I wanna pick up another infantry. Ba 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 ah! Dun dun, dun dun, cask aside, ah! Dun dun, dun dun, cask aside, ah! Dun dun, dun dun, ba da ba da, cask aside, cask aside, ah! Da da ya for da! I'm not sure if I can reach the message silo, we'll have to see. I don't know how the computer is going to react. Ah, I think she. I think Lash just might go and use the silo right away. So, we'll see how it goes. Problem. I'm gonna try to spread out my forces though, so that she's not gonna be able to hit um, hit a lot of my stuff. If I do this, that should be pretty good. Like so. I don't think she's gonna be able to do a lot of damage to me right now. She's probably gonna land it here. I think. We'll see. Well, that doesn't really bother me. Okay, she's actually going to launch it right here. That's interesting. Very interesting, but okay. 
Now, I definitely want to use my Sammy superpower to try and capture HQ them this as quickly as possible. We'll see if I can't make that happen. And I don't want to use the missile yet, so I want to kind of save it. So I'll just keep a mech units on, on that base until I decide it's a good time to use it. So... And I should actually save up for a rocket right now. Mountain combat! Lash is actually terrifying in the mountains. She actually beats Sammy's infantry because... Um, not sure if I've talked about Lash yet as a CEO. I should probably do that. For those of you who haven't played this game before. Uh, Lash is actually one of the upper tier CEOs. She's actually goddamn good. Um, she doesn't have any weaknesses at all. Um, all her troops are standard, 100%. However, for every defense star a terrain offers, she gets 10% firepower. So on the plane, she gets 10% increased firepower. On the forest, she gets 20% increased firepower. On the city, she gets 30% increased firepower. And yes, in the mountain, she gets 40% firepower, which makes her infantry absolutely terrible in the mountains. Or actually terrifying, I should say. So, uh... That's why Lash is actually able to fight on par with Sammy's infantry. So she's actually 10% stronger than me in the mountains, because Sammy's infantry have 30% increased firepower. Whereas her infantry has 40%, so... I'm actually gonna... I'm not gonna be able to uh, outmatch her with my infantry. So yeah, Lash is a good CO. Her power? Her little power is kinda crap. What it does is that it sets the movement cost of all terrain down to 1, so she can traverse any terrain with ease. Not really good, considering it costs 4 stars. If this power were a lot cheaper, then I'd understand it, but it's one of the worst normal powers in the game, if you ask me. Her superpower, however, is one of the strongest superpowers in the game. Basically, it doubles terrain uh, defense stars, so it, which means she gets eight, the 80 defense in the mountains. And uh, this also helps her attack, because she gets firepower from the terrain. So if you double the terrain stars, then you also double her firepower, which means that a Lash mech in the mountains gets 80% defense and 80% increased firepower, which is absolutely terrifying. And it also does what a little power does, it drops all the movement cost of terrain to 1, so she can move pretty easily through the terrain, so... Yeah, a tricky CO to deal with. Ah, oh, I'm having a bit of wine! Lovely. I always do a little... I always feel like I'm a little bit more entertaining when I'm drunk. Okay. So, I, we actually really want to stop that infantry from capping this base. I'm actually going to move my mech over here. I feel like that's kind of important, because you don't, we don't want Lash to get a base this close to us. It's going to make things a little bit nasty, so... And now I want to start firing some mechs north. you got to use this APC while you have it. There we go. And I actually want to save up some cash right now, because I do want to build a rockets. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Oh, really? That city is actually within my capture. Oh, okay. And stupid infantry goes for city instead of uh, instead of base. Computer logic. Okay, so actually... Hmm, I'm gonna build a rocket here first, because it's actually a little bit terrifying. Um, I can't go into the mountains. Uh, I'm gonna build another one though, don't worry. I'm actually gonna build a mech, because mechs got more firepower than infantry, so they're actually kinda good like that. But this never ending s stream of mechs, they ain't gonna stop anytime soon. And I'm gonna start capturing her stuff. Sammy mechs are really good. Really good. I'm actually tempted to use a missile right here, just to weaken her troops a little bit. You don't want to save it too. You don't want to, don't want to save it too long, like so. So now those troops are pretty much useless. And my APC is actually low on fuel. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting shot at now, but it's fine. Sammy, Sammy infantry can still capture a base, even if we're like, um, if you want Sammy to stop capping a property, if she's already gotten a turn to capture it, you need to basically reduce the infantry to two hit points, or one hit points, if you're gonna have any chance of doing that, which is actually kind of scary. Okay. 
So we got a rocket right now. It's gonna move very slowly through the woods. Very slowly. Ba, 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 ba. Not really sure. I think I'm just gonna join this infantry right here. I really want to capture this base over there, even though I'm not going to deploy anything from it yet, because it's in the range of the Black Cannon. But, uh, some Mimics are still powerful, even if they're taking damage. So I'm still going to use them. And I really want to capture Lash's base over there. Ooh, I wonder how this is going to go. Okay, not good for me at all. Not good for me at all. This is also going to hurt a little bit, I think. Yeah. Mechs are kind of weak on the defense. Hmm, goodbye. But that tank is gonna die now. Badly. So, it's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, you're fucked, Mr. Tank. Pew, 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 pew. Bram, bam, 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 bam. Now, as I can, if I can get the rocket closer, I can actually... I'm not, I can't build another one yet, but I can build an artillery, which is cool. I'm gonna do that. I actually kinda wanna... I guess I kinda have to refuel my APC now. I'm gonna place it on the sit in a town or a base. And it's also time to start capping this base. Ooh, wow, 101% damage against three console planes. That's actually pretty darn good. Really good. So this map is a bit slow paced since it's like got a gimmick of sending mechs through the mountains. It's kind of a slow spam, you know, you're slowly just gonna work your way towards Slash, and eventually, you're gonna destroy the cannon, then it's game over for her. So again, not really a difficult mission at all, but I'm guessing it's a little bit tricky to score an S-rank. I'm gonna see if I can't get, get that done. I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can. I'm gonna save my superpower and try to capture HQ. I like how the infantry blows up in this game. It's kind of cute. Oh, I think I, I'm dead now. Nope! Still got one hit point left, which is kind of cool. But I'm not going to be able to cap this base now. But I'm going to... I'm going to join... I'm going to join up the mechs, actually. And I'm going to try to cap this city as well. But I really want that base. It's going to come... It's gonna come in handy sooner or later. Okay, so I'm actually gonna kill this thing because I want to attack that tank from the mountains. Even though it would be beneficial to move my artillery forward. Because I really want to do this. Ba -ba -bow. So that tank is kind of useless right now. Which is cool. My infantry don't move well in mountains. But they're good for camping once I get my superpower, which I will get some time during this game. But mechs are kind of inexpensive, so it takes a while to charge up your CO power on them. And also, units getting killed by a black cannon doesn't generate power. It counts as uh, non-combat casualties. Which is why you can't delete your own units to get CO power. It doesn't work that way. You have to die in combat. What? Really? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I thought for sure that I wouldn't get killed there, but I guess I am wrong. Okay. Attack first before you are attacked. That is the general strategy. Even though those mechs are going to die. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pounding away on this tank. Pew, pew, pew. So it can't do any damage to my artillery. And I'm actually gonna build another rocket. Ba -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. 
da, da, da. Hmm. I wonder if it's any if I should actually bother with this base. As long I I need to stop Lash from capping it. But I'm not really sure if I guess I could try. Are she gonna use her little power? Yes! I've had enough! I'm bored now! That's actually good. Whenever you can make Lash use her little power, it's actually very good because it's so bad. Yes, she does move through terrain at free cost, but her superpower is super nasty, so whenever you can actually make her not use it, that's a victory for you. Honey joins his tanks. Wonderful for her tanks. That's actually a victory for me right there. And no, I don't want to use my little power because my little power is bad. Very bad. There we go. Sammy's, uh, there's nothing wrong with Sammy's indirect units, which is actually quite kind of cool. She can use them at no penalty at all. So uh, when you play with Sammy, you always want to emphasize on building mechs, infantry, and indirect combat units for support. It's kind of the general way to play her. There we go. I actually messed up a little bit there. I should have placed my APC right there. So I'm going to have to wait another turn before I can move it. Which is a little... Oop, sorry. A little bit sad. Okay, so I want to I wanna take down that infantry, though. I don't want her to cap this base. That's bad news for me. Always attack, uh, always attack with your strongest units first, whenever there's multiple engagements. You always want to bring down her infantry as much as possible without taking damage yourself. And since the attacking units always wins in advanced wars, you want to make absolutely sure that you attack with the strongest units you have, and then follow up with the weaker ones. This way, you minimize the amount of retaliation damage you receive, and you also take less damage, which means you're going to have more units, and in advanced wars, the player with the most units always win. That's... Sadly, how the game works out. I mean, yes, there is strategy, but most, like, like they say in um, in uh, Game of Thrones, nine out of ten times the army with the most soldiers win. And yes, sometimes you can be the tenth. I have definitely managed to turn a few games around against human players, even though I am on the on the backbone, on the back <laughs> backbone, the back feet. But it's really, really hard, and. Uh, it's not some, something you can pull off easily, unless, you're com uh, unless your opponent makes a stupid move. Or anything stupid like that. Okay, so I'm actually getting a little bit pressed by Lash here. I need to make sure she doesn't cap the city. Wonderful! Okay. Hmm. My artillery is gonna get damaged now. But that's just uh, just how it is. Depending on what the computer does, of course. I'm actually gonna build another rockets. Because rockets are good. So yeah, as you can see, I messed up a little bit with my APC placement. Should have placed it one step further down. That happens sometimes. Yep, artillery gone. Pa pa pa. That sucks. And now these infantry are gonna bite the dust. Goodbye. Ah. Okay, I think it's time to turn off the visuals. So now we're gonna start shooting a lot of rockets. And I can actually start attacking the black cannon, which is cool. Oh, rockets move so slowly through the woods. It's insane. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. That's a blunder on my part. Oh, crap. I attacked the wrong unit, but it's okay. She's not gonna get the base yet. So we're still good. But I need to I need to keep the mechs coming. It's actually kind of important. Oh, I could have built the mech there. Oh, well. Well, the black cannon is going to be gone next turn. That's going to be a lot of help. Goodbye. Am 
My superpower is ch charging up. Oh, really, Manx? Did you? My God, did you guys see that? I accidentally pressed the wrong target, so now that Black Cannon is gonna live for another turn. Awkward. It happens. So I want to move my infantry into position right now. Oh, God damn it! I'm gonna move my infantry into position so that I um, remember a, sa a Sammy. You don't need to have uh, more than one hit points to be able to capture a base. Which is kind of cool. But I definitely want to move my mech a little bit closer. So I can just go and capture HQ when I use my power. Go. And... No, not that one. By Black Cannon. Yay! So now, Flash no longer got the firepower to back up her units. I must admit, the Black Cannon's a cool, um, cool unit, though. I really like it. I like the little extra units they've added in here, and I actually need a little bit of. Um, Re refueling and re ammoing over here. So I'm gonna bring up my APC to make sure that happens. Yeah, we'll keep the artillery there for the time being. Normally, you don't want to repair ever. Like, ever. Because repairing is generally bad. Okay, she's actually moving up with her tanks there, which is a little bit annoying. I just want to make sure I actually get to cap her HQ. It's actually kind of important, which I feel. Okay, I got my superpower. The question is, is Lash gonna get, get, let me get close? I don't think she will. So I'm just gonna refuel here. I don't really care. I don't even think I need to build more units at this point. It's just gonna be a hassle to move them all. So I'm gonna officially stop making units now, even though it does just decrease my uh, my score. I heard that if you spam a lot of units, uh, you get a perfect technique score or power score. I think it is. I think power depends on the units you create, and technique depends on the unit you lose. So, ha ha ha! Nice. I got her to use her little power again. Normal, normal, stupid, crappy power. Now, how the computer pretty much does it is, um, if it has enough for its normal power, or at least one half star within its normal power, it's actually going to use it. Funnily enough. That's how it works. Oh, I need to shoot with my rocket first. So the computer will always uh, use its small normal power if, it's, uh, if it has at least, like, a half star within, you know, like see the little stars over there. Uh, if I have like three normal stars and half a big star. If not, it charges up for its superpower. It doesn't really it doesn't really think smart when it comes to using superpowers and you know in situations where superpowers would be better or whatnot. And in some cases a superpower is very bad, such as with Colin for example, his superpower is really bad. You want to use this little power as much as you can. Drake is another example of a CEO which you only want to use your normal power on because he um, his tsunami is infinitely much better than his typhoon. Because the only thing typhoon does is that it does some um, it does one extra damage and it costs twice as much. Now, it does make it rain, which is a valid point. Mm, I want to yeah I can actually use my superpower now and win the game. Sammy is an overpowered CEO. Why? Oh, let me show you why. This is why. Lol. Ha! Ah, no big deal. It's not like this is our only hidden base. Toodles! Hehehe. <laughs> Anything to report, Sammy? 
No sign of any of flash files yet. Oh! They're thorough. I'll give them that. Hardly any time to evacuate, but they still managed to destroy her notes. Well, I'm sure we'll have more chances to gather intel in the future. We captured an enemy HQ today, and that's good work! You're right. There's still a lot of ground to cover. We need to move ahead, base by base, and ensure that we take them all. Alright! Holy shit, another S rank. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Nice. This is just the beginning. Okay, wonderful! And it seems like we just unlocked the final mission. However, we are going to attempt the lab mission before we do anything of that sort. So, I hope you will stay tuned. I am already looking forward to the next episode, and I hope you are too. My name is Ben Mengs, and I'll see you next time.